Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Country Door Catalog read dupe. Um, it's basically fairly easy. I'm going to be using a lot of twine in this DIY. I'm also going to be using a foam wreath ring from Dollar Tree, a burlap bow which I got from Dollar General, and some artificial flowers and greenery that I do already have on hand. Um, when this DIY is finished though, you are going to be surprised. Wait till you see the price. Like, ay 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 ay. It's just unbelievable what some stores charge for something as simple as a wreath. But, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Let's get into making this wreath. I will be making my hanger. That's usually my first step with any of my wreaths. So, I'm going to cut enough twine to do just that. I'm going to knot this together. And I'm going to use this right here where it's joined, the wreath is joined, as my starting point. So I'm just using a quick dab of hot glue to hold that in place. And I don't have my finger protectors on for the moment. So, yeah, that's so why I'm using this part of my kitchen shears. Now, this wreath starts off with being covered in, completely covered in rope. So I am using twine. And I'm just going to start right next to my hanger. And I actually pressed it down in the hot glue that is still um, cooling. And I'm just carefully going to start wrapping it around the wreath form. making sure that I pull it tight and that it is snug right next to each other like so. Now I'm probably going to use two, um, two spools of twine rope here. I am really thinking that because this is the most time-consuming part of this DIY. So I have about a third um, of my wreath done so far. Just making sure with each each uh, pass around the wreath to pull, pull the rope very tight and hold it in place with your finger 
as you are threading it around. I want to say about every 10-15 turns, a tiny little dab of hot glue in the back to help hold the twine uh, in place. And definitely when you reach the end of one, uh, one package of twine, you want to try to secure it in the back when you start a new package so that it will just start going right around the wreath seamlessly and you can't tell where one package ended and another one began. Once the wreath is completely wrapped in twine, you want to take your lighter and just go around and lightly um, burn off a lot of the excess, um, I guess you could say fibers that stick up and just quickly uh, burn some of them off so that the wreath is neater looking um, instead of having all them fibers sticking up all over the place. So you want to take care of that step before you go on to decorate. So I turned off the plastic back here, plastic wire that actually is holding the ruffled part right here together. And I'm going to attach this, as I said, right directly below my hanger. So I'm going to use a generous amount of hot glue right here. And I'm just going to hold that in place for, for a minute or so. And now to attach my flowers. Now, this part of my wreath from here up to the hanger is essentially left bare. And flowers and greenery are going to be attached here and around the bow and even on to the bow actually. Attaching um, some of these whitish yellow um, flowers and a little bit of the leaves that are with them. As I said, I'm only going to do up to like about here. I'm going to attach the rest of the flowers and then I'm going to finish off with some greenery um, that I have for my unexpected craft surprise haul. Um, that's going to be the final piece that's going to tie this wreath all together.
Final step with this wreath is shortening my tails on my bow. Because this is a smaller wreath and the bow basically would, with this length, overwhelm it, I'm going to trim it down. I'm going to take off, oh, I want to say about a good two inches on here. So I'm just going to trim that off. And I'm going to trim on this side now too. And note to self, next time I'm in Dollar Tree, get a new pair or two of kitchen shears for myself because these have seen better days. All right, yeah, now see, now that puts it so much more size-wise into perspective. I also folded the bows under again using size uh, as my model because this is a smaller wreath. So I thought, yeah, definitely fold, fold the bows under here. And I think that looks so much better with the bow um, cut off and shortened. Alrighty guys, so this is my finished wreath and I think it is quite cute. Now my flowers don't exactly match the original uh, wreath. I pretty much use what I have on hand um, but I follow the design of the original wreath pretty good and like I said I trimmed the bow down because I really didn't want the bow to pretty much overpower the wreath. So let's recap here for a moment how much this would actually cost to make. All right, the burlap bow from Dollar General cost me two dollars. One of the foam uh, wreath rings from Dollar Tree is a dollar. Even if you spend, <coughs> even if you spend four or five dollars in artificial flowers, say five dollars. So that's five two for the bow, a dollar for the ring, another dollar for a three pack of twine, of which you're only going to use one and a half to go fully around one of these rings. I actually uh, tested that today. So all together, you would probably have hot glue. Um, this wreath would cost you nine, ten dollars at the most to make. Are you ready for what this wreath goes for in the Country Door Catalog? $59.99 plus tax plus shipping. $59.99. And I'm going to show you the original. Now, do remember that dupes are often smaller um, than their original counterparts. So that right there is the original wreath. And I, as I said, you know, some of my flowers are a little bit different. I didn't exactly have these kind of flowers. And at this time of the year, um, getting a perfect match is going to be a little bit hard because we're in fall. Um, so I may do with what I had, but the actual style of the wreath and everything I did keep to. Um, so, you know, once again, like I said, 
This is $59.99, and there's the price right there, $59.99. Can you believe it? Like, good gods. I just can't get over, like, how they charge so much for a wreath. I think it turned out really, really cute. Um, as I said, you know, I need to use a little bit different flowers, but all in all, I think as a catalog dupe that it did turn out very, very cute. Um, also last minute, I attached a little bit of extra um, greenery on top there. If you like this video, guys, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit my subscribe button. Thank you so, so much for watching. Take care. Stay healthy. I will see you all on the next one. Bye.